Man, what a chapter. My Hero Academia 252. Um, first things first, the Todoroki family, they just don't know how to do family dramas in private. Like, these guys, I feel so awkward for people that are around them because, like, imagine you get invited to your friend's house, you're having dinner, you know, you're just relaxing, you're chilling, the food's good, and then all of a sudden, like, the brother or, like, when your friend is arguing with his dad, and I'm like, wait, like, you're just trying to sit and mind your own business. This is what's been happening these past couple of chapters, and even now, like, back it goes caught in the middle of a hug and endeavor, and that's so, that's what I was like, they're just going back at it as well it's just like these guys you're making it so awkward for everyone else um but let's get straight to this chapter my academia 252 was really really cool um a couple of things that was really awesome so the whole character arc i'm loving it endeavor it's really great i didn't do a video last week last week was kind of hectic we got a lot of assignments and stuff um but it's crazy to see the growth with Todoroki, um, Deku and Bakugo. Deku being able to use Black Whip to such a standard where he can actually lift up cards. The last time it was like a little thing. Um, it's really cool because the way that he used Black Whip last chapter is kind of similar to how it was first used when it just came out randomly. Not to that extent, not to that kind of degree of power, but he's getting there. So, um, and bear in mind, whilst all of this is going on, we're getting into an arc where the uh, liberation, the paranormal liberation front, they're coming out. Pardon me. So, you know, like this next arc with the villains and Hawks and all that kind of stuff is going to be crazy. So, you know, that's why these guys are training like crazy. That's why you're seeing Bakugo and Todoroki. That's why Todoroki is trying to get Flash Fire. I feel like he used it last chapter. I don't know if that's actually Flash Fire, though, where he concentrated it all into one point and it's like a little nasal kind of thing. Um, so that's why Bakugo is trying to get faster and being able to... Um, even in these conditions where it's winter, because obviously it works like his, it's his sweat glands. Um... But yeah, let's actually talk about what happened this chapter. That was pretty last week. Last week was really cool. Uh, we find out in this chapter that ending used trigger. Now, if you guys are trying to, if you guys can't remember what trigger is, trigger, well, it's actually with the current anime as well. Um, season four, my hero, obviously, uh, you guys probably know it's out. Um, the drug trigger, where if you use it, it amplifies your quirk. If you're wondering where you saw that in this chapter, it wasn't this chapter, it's two weeks ago, chapter 250. It's like the third page. You see him inject himself like to his neck or somewhere around here so he he can control the paint lines or he can control paint um interesting you know Hirokoshi he always makes these quirks pretty interesting and this chapter we find out why Endeavor was frozen you know this was a discussion a lot of with a lot of people everyone was wondering Endeavor is the number one he moves with, without thinking why was it because his son was there yes and no it wasn't because his son was in jeopardy um because surely that would make you want to act faster it was actually the repercussions of what would happen if he moved um and we find it in this chapter Endeavor says he did he 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 froze because he didn't know if if um what did he say he said he feared that if he was to save you well yeah that if he was to save Natsu that Natsu never talked to him again and we just kind of you know it's got some merit to it um I feel like Natsu just judges everything that Endeavor does so like Endeavor could have won in my opinion like if and if Endeavor did nothing I felt like Natsu was gonna badger him anyway if he'd done something he was gonna badger him either way but it seems like he didn't really do anything much like he went really like oh some hero you are not even being able to save me like he didn't do that kind of thing but I think Natsu was in denial to an extent we know that he kind of hates Endeavor but I feel like that's what's going to forgive him. I think this was lip service. When he said that he'll never forgive him, no, that's what's going to forgive Endeavor. Maybe not as quickly as Todoroki, um, but he definitely is. And I just, this chapter just made me laugh. How are you bringing up Toya again? It's just like, um, I just think it would be funny if Toya and Dabby's not the same one. What if Dabby just killed Toya? It's kind of funny. I'm bringing up other theories because I'm just like, it's like, I'm t like 20% sure in my opinion that Dabby is not Toya. Um, it makes sense that he is, so like, it's basically even fact, everyone thinks, like, it's like gospel, so people think Dabi and Toya are, is, are one and the same, because it's just been hinted so heavily at, but just on the off chance, what if it's just a gigantic red herring, what if it isn't, um, then who, then who else, like, how crazy would it be if Dabi killed Toya, um, would be really, really intriguing, either way, from the end of this chapter, we see Endeavor, and this is his solution. So Endeavor's been dreaming. And he's been like, 
he sees his family, but he's not in the picture. And I asked this like a couple of weeks ago as well. I said, what's going to happen when Ray comes back? Are they all gonna live in the same house? Like obviously Ray, I don't, she hasn't really forgiven Endeavor, but remember Endeavor that brought flowers to her hospital, to her room. And it was the same flower that they had on like the first date. And it just showed you that it's not that Endeavor, Endeavor hasn't forgotten everything, but he's facing it head on. So it's more so such, it's more so like, um, yeah, that she hasn't forgiven him, but she's like, she's, she's seeing that he's working on to try and get atonement to fix the mistakes that he's, he's caused. Um, so yeah, when Ray comes home, what, like, what's gonna happen? Are they gonna move into the same house? Like, or, like are they gonna be one happy family? Like, it, logistically, it wasn't making sense. So we find out that Endeavor, his solution is that he, and I, I saw, I said this even in the video, it, it seemed as if that dream was, to interpret that dream was either that he's gonna die, or that his happy, that for his family to be happy, it's with him outside, him not in the picture. And I think that's what Endeavor thinks. I think, that is gonna happen, but I think maybe like the end of the series, I think Endeavor is gonna move in. Um, but like, yeah, I don't think this is gonna be a permanent solution. I don't think for you, me, you even would want to live without them, but obviously that's all good. Just to make things better, and I think the siblings will get even closer together. I think that would work really well. And obviously Ray moving back in as well, that'd be pretty cool. So Endeavor's gonna live alone in that house. And I just feel like Dabby's gonna come in. Um, yeah, I feel that house. I feel like that house is gonna get burnt in flames. I feel like Debbie's gonna come in, and, and if Debbie is Toyota, he's gonna be like, "I'm back, father," or something like that, and then just be like, "Yeah, like, like, yeah, gonna light that place up." So that's gonna be pretty crazy. But um, ending was a pretty. It was like a one chapter villain kind of guy. I felt like the way that he got introduced, I thought there was going to be more to it, but I think it was just for the purpose of like, this was the villain that the big three, the heroes were going to get to before Endeavor. And obviously this wasn't a matter of like talent thing. They didn't do it because they were faster than Endeavor because Endeavor froze or just the way that he's been thinking and all of that. So yeah, it was interesting that they used Trigger. I felt like implying is Trigger gonna come back into the fold obviously now that they've got the backing the financial backing of the Liberation Army maybe so um I don't cause uh, Twice couldn't reverse engineer it with his quirk maybe he can now I don't know um but yeah it's really cool and this is another thing that I'm gonna talk about before I'm, I'm gonna end off when I read Bakugo saying he's got someone else to tell it to I was just like oh, I feel like this is not gonna age well this ain't gonna go well man like I don't want Best Genius to be dead. I love the guy. I'm, I'm a fan. Um, but if Hawks put Best Genius in a body bag, like... I don't know. I just feel like Best Genius can't catch a break, to be honest. Um, hopefully not, because that's going to break Bakugo. Even though Bakugo, they, it, it, it's, it's not like Bakugo, you saw Bakugo be so nice to Best Genius. But you can tell Best Genius helped him out a lot. Um, and Best Genius invested quite a bit into Bakugo as well. So yeah, I think that's who Best who Bakugo wants to tell. It's either, back, it's either Best Genius or All Might. Um, yeah, those are the two that I can think of. I don't know who else I could think of that Best that Bakugo would want to um, tell. But like, who, I wonder what the, his, the hero name is going to be. I saw some cool ones on Reddit. What do you guys think? Um, but other than that, the chapter was pretty short. It was a really, really cool chapter. Um, the artwork in this chapter was phenomenal. I'm just thinking like, thumbnail, thumbnail, thumbnail. Like, all of them. It just looked pretty sick. It was really, really cool. And just like, there were so many panels where you're seeing like Endeavor on this side, Natsu on this side. And it's just so, like a lot of panels where Todoroki is like, emo like expressionless. Um, which was really, really, in which was really interesting because like, he's watching on as well and seeing how what's going on between Natsu and Endeavor. So yeah, this was awesome. The this is the first like, victory they fought the villains no casualties minimum damage to the environment so yeah now nah, pretty cool now that they're provisional licensed heroes um guys some of your thoughts in the comments what we thought about this chapter of my hero academia 252 if like anything that i'd say please drop a like that would be greatly appreciated let's continue the discussion down below if you're new to my channel subscribe for weekly reviews on my hero academia peace out guys and goodbye